I've made it into the lab. What happens once the pee makes it here? Okay, well, it comes through the pneumatic tube system, and this is connected to all the units in the hospital. You just open it up, and okay. now we have to go pour it off. We have to check which tests are going to be performed on this urine. Okay. We can do a chemistry test, um, and even a urinalysis and culture. So for this one, we're gonna do a urinalysis and a urine culture. Okay, and when the pee comes in, can you do an eye test right away and tell anything from maybe the color of the pee that comes yes. in? Yes, sometimes we get samples that are bloody. Sometimes samples are pretty clear like this one. Yeah, is that a well hydrated it's human a well being right there? well hydrated person and sometimes it can be a little bit dark, Okay. which may have other types of indications. And now for this part, we have to deliver it to microbiology. All right. So this specimen is getting a microalbumin. Microalbumin, it will form aggregates on the chemistry analyzer that can interfere. So we, in order to get an actual representative microalbumin specimen, uh -huh. we need to centrifuge it down. How long are we spinning it so for? So this one spins for about four minutes. Okay. Uh, we'll immediately be able to take it out and load it onto the analyzer. It'll incubate it, it'll dilute it if it needs to dilute, if it's too high for the analyzer to read, and it'll do it all on its own, dispose of any waste. Our, our pee's going on a little bit of a lab joyride here. Apparently. From the centrifuge to the omnimover over here, yes. right? <laughs>